Hello Tubers, it's your crazy British bloke here. Everyone wants to be Puwala. <sighs> He's the test of time. He's been there a long time, dude. He's the modfather and the godfather of everything, so it's different class, without any shadow of a doubt. He's a great songwriter, great performer. Well, I mean, it's over good to us. We follow him everywhere. He's got his hair cut on his looks. I'm a hairdresser and his hair is amazing. It's just natural. Just top soil, you know what I mean? He's the best. He is the best. The best. He's just. The well best. then, tubers, I thought I'd sit down and have a little talky talk with you lot, as I say. Um, music. Music. Now, everybody's into a bit of music, aren't they? Um, let's see, what sort of music do I like? Well, <laughs> as you probably gathered, I've been listening to a bit of Paul Weller. Well, there is a connection with me and Paul Weller. Well, I don't know if you call it a connection or whatever, but... There's uh, sort of we cross paths and that, yeah, sort of, shall we say. Um, let's go right back to the beginning. Music. Now, what music did I listen to when I was a kid? Um, grew up in a little, like I've said before, a tiny little town, well, a little village called Lyne, near Chertsey. That was in Surrey. Um, I only lived like three doors down from... Oh, got a little bit of rum and coke here. Well, actually, quite a lot. It's quite nice. Um, lived like three houses down from all my cousins, like first cousins, second cousins, and all that, yeah. Um, that was back in the 60s. And uh, all the older ones, they were a lot older than me, they were uh, all into lots of music and that. And uh, that was the old Teddy Boy era. So they were all done up as teddy boys with the old quiffs and the old freaking teddy boy suits and the creeper shoes and everything and all of the teddy boy music. And uh, us as youngsters thought it was like absolutely brilliant, eh? You know, you got your your cousins driving around in Zephyrs and Zodiacs and listening to all the old rock and roll and everything. And uh, yeah, I was into a bit of rock and roll then when I was a kid and my cousin Anthony, you know, we were like freaking glued together all the time. We used to listen to lots of uh, lots of the old rock and roll. One of my favourite records out then was uh, That A Bit Of Day, yeah? Just freaking brilliant. I love that. And then, uh, where do I go from there? My music, I don't know. Um, well, basically my dad was a builder and uh, we left line. He did a self-build and we went to Woking. Yeah, you've all heard of me talk about Woking before. I went over there when I was about 10. Yeah, I think I was 10 when I moved there. So that was like uh, into the 70s, yeah? And uh, music-wise, you know, I met a lot of uh, friends there and that. I went to school with and, you know, a lot of my friends around the area. And the music we was into then was, uh, don't like, knock me for this, but... Gary Glitter, eh? Rock and Roll Part 1 and Part 2. That came out. Um, used to listen to that. And I was really, really hooked on uh, Slade. I love Slade. Naughty Holder. I used to dress up like him. I don't know why. I did. But we were sort of into a bit of the... <clears throat> and you had... Uh, who's them bloody group? That group from... Uh, uh, Scotland, I can't think of their name now, but I used to have all the jeans stuff on with a tartan on and everything, so we're sort of all influenced by that, and uh, used to wear uh, like the really tight Levi jeans, like right up to my knees nearly, and uh, Dr. Martin boots, um, everybody was sort of going into skinhead, skinhead times those in them days, and uh, a lot of my friends had skinheads, but I never, I never actually had a skinhead. I always had long hair because I liked naughty older, yeah. So <laughs> I always had the long hair, and I and I had this like they all had jean jackets on, Levi jean jackets, and I had this uh, this like 
jean jacket, but it was like three quarters. Don't know if you've ever seen them. They had like side pockets on them, and they had like a couple of buttons up the front, and this like fur collar, yeah? And I thought I was like really cool in that. So I used to, I used to wear that, and we used to get our oh, Dr. Martin boots, like our oh, leg boots, and we'd ox blood them and polish them and polish them and polish them so they look really good. And then we get the little tins in England of the Humbrol paint, like you're supposed to use those to do your model aircrafts and that, and we get the silver, and we do like the bottom of the boots all the way around the edge, right? And we do them in silver, and a little bit at the back with a point, and it looked like so freaking cool. It was really cool in those days. You know, listen to Slade. It was really good. So that was sort of, I don't know, the first sort of, sort of where I went into music and then, I don't know, things happened and girls and everything else. And then I went off, anyhow, getting back to uh, Paul Weller. Now, I went to the same school as Paul Weller. I went to uh, like a comprehensive school in Horsell and you know in Woking and that's where Paul Weller went now Paul Weller was a couple of years I don't know two or three years older than me I think and he went there and that's where they all rehearsed and they got their band together and everything so he was like a sort of legend in the school and anybody who went to that school that could play guitar thought they were going to be like Paul Weller but it never really happened and so sort of that was around the, the punk scene everybody got into the punk scene and and well not quite the punk scene but we all sort of went off from being skinheads to being mods and uh actually i did get my hair cut then i had a nice flat top and we were sort of into madness and the specials and we used to walk around in two-tone suits and crombie coats with the little red bit up the side and the fred perry's and uh the big penny rounds and what shoes do we used to wear they were a freaking fortune. I know they were. I think my mum paid a lot of money for because there was a there was a store in town. It was called Dazzles, and it was like the the tally man store. And he'd come around and knock on your door every week and take so much money off you for like your your card that you had and knock it down and everything. Oh, sugar sugar top loafers, sugar top loafers. I had a pair of sugar top loafers with real, real, real thick like leather soles on them and that yeah and we used to get the big and what we do is get the horseshoes put on the front of the back and like we thought we were really cool yeah really cool yeah them yeah, in the days eh so yeah and that was about when sort of when Paul Weller was around and they were uh, uh, the jam and that right and they were sort of getting things going um never really Knew, knew them then or or anything or what was going on with that but um, like you know a few years later on my sister's at school in that same school and uh, here's sort of the coincidence in that her uh, her best friend was Nikki yeah which was uh, Paul's sister and uh, my sister used to go over there for dinner and that yeah used to after school and go around to Paul's house I I I've really, really think about it now, and I really sort of talk to her about it, or uh, you know whether she met Paul and that. I know she met the parents, and and Paul's daddy was a manager and that. I know, I know that sort of went on. Um, so then from there, um, did I listen to a lot of Paul Wellen? Well, sort of a bit, you know, Jam. I listened to the Jam because it was. Uh, it was like Woking Band and the mods and, and everything like that, sort of. So I did listen to a bit of that and then got into a bit of other stuff and Floyd and, well, I love the Floyd and stuff like that. And then, uh, let me have a drink and think about this, but... You know, the, 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 the real thing was... Um, then he then he got into style council stuff. Um, when that was sort of going on, I was more into uh, all the rave scene and that was going on, you know, smiley face rave scene and uh, yeah, going to raves and stuff. Even though I was old, it's like the old one of the oldest skis there and that, but sort of into that sort of thing. And then uh, 
when it when he started getting into his own stuff, like just uh, the Paul Weller stuff and that, <coughs> that's when I started really listening to him again. And amazing, absolutely amazing. And Wildwood is probably one of the. I think that's one of the best albums out there. I love listening to it, Wildwood. And then you got Stanley Road. Now. His thing was Stanley Road. Stanley Road, I actually lived on Stanley Road in Woking. And uh, I don't know if you know much about it, if you watch any of the documentaries and that, and you see his dad, who's a manager, talking about it. And uh, he said that he used to get him gigs in the Workingman's Club. Well, I lived in a house right opposite the Workingman's Club on Stanley Road. So, you know, it's a sort of bit of a con well you know sort of thing there and that you know well that's what I think anyhow but you know who else can say they lived on Stanley Road opposite the Workingman's Club where Paul Welly used to sing but you know that's what I did um, some of my buddies like uh, brothers and that they were older than us actually knew Paul and uh, yeah but what an amazing artist Absolutely amazing. He's going to go down in history as, uh, you know, in our century as one of those artists. We know that. And uh, I can't believe, you know, watching some of the stuff that's on YouTube now. Um, you know, he's older than me. And he stands up there and he sings and sings and sings like he's 20 still. So, I don't know. Just thought I'd... Uh, Talk a little bit about music and that. I don't know. I don't know what you're into and where you're at. And if you like Paul Weller. If you never listened to Paul Weller. You know. Go on the YouTubes. Go and listen to Stanley Road. Listen to uh, Wildwood. And listen to some of his stuff. It's, uh, his lyrics are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So uh, I don't know. That's just a little bit of my thought about uh, music and sort of my link to uh, Paul Weller. There you go. So, I'll talk to you a lot again later on. Bye-bye.